Local and county officials in Pike County are considering filing suit against cable and internet provider Suddenlink over what officials say are numerous complaints about service outages and other issues. At a special meeting of the Pikeville City Commission on Tuesday, Pikeville City Attorney Rusty Davis told the commission that perhaps the only way to deal with ongoing complaints against Suddenlink, which reached a fever pitch during a recent outage that occurred during a University of Kentucky men's basketball game telecast, is to consider filing a class action lawsuit against Suddenlink parent company Altus. The way I believe to get the message to Suddenlink is it's going to cost you for not providing the services that you're being paid for. It's going to cost you, and it's going to cost you dearly. During Tuesday's meeting, commissioners heard some complaints about service issues and outages from Suddenlink customers. On several occasions, I don't, even, uh, I don't know if my internet services with them or not. It goes out to, but I'll call him Buddy all the way up Greasy Creek. He says same thing they're out there too so i don't know what their issue is mine's gone off forever it'll go off and um i had a flat screen tv one of the 48 inch ones and that fella suddenly insisted that he do a hard boot to reboot the boxes on the tv and when he did he blew up my tv i called back to tell him he said well, i'm sorry there's nothing i can do for you it's frustrating your internet your television every time you turn and we do everything on uh, 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 when we pay our bills we do it online and we can't when the cables and, and the internet is out officials also voiced their own frustrations anybody that's been to your local office it's not a pleasant experience uh, well, it's, it's just not an office all you do is have some you that's a tail over there taking the money they won't answer a question about nothing. You gotta call eight hundred. You gotta call eight hundred. You gotta call eight hundred. Trust me, I went through for about two months. Yeah. And they're not real nice about it either. No. Um, here's a screenshot of a speed test that you can do, and I think we get 50, 50 or sixty, or should get fifty or sixty. And this is a point seven up. And it should be up towards fifty, and then a seven down, then a one up and seven down. So very low speeds. And I just wanted to echo the consumer where everybody else is sitting here today as well. A representative from Altus was at the meeting and told the commission that the best way for customers to have service issues addressed is to report them to the company. We've been able to fix a lot of things because we know about them because we're being told about the issues other than what they can monitor and see. So we can see down to the node. If it's past the node and to the pedestal of the house and to the house, we rely on customers to tell us if there's issues. So I think either people don't want to take the time on the phone or they come to you and complain, but we need to be made aware of it as well because it could be an in-house wiring problem that's causing it. It could be a line cut from that node to the house or somewhere in between. So if it's a bunch of homes, it's got to be somewhere. We know it's between here and there, but we need to be made aware of it so that we can go out and fix it. Officials and customers alike at the meeting, however, say they have had a difficult time contacting the company and are subjected to long hold times. Davis said he wasn't satisfied with the answers delivered to the commission about Suddenlink. He says a questionnaire will be sent out to Pikeville Suddenlink customers to gather information about their service issues. The questionnaire is an initial step in filing suit against the company. I would say to people, if, if you're having problems, you need to take the five or ten minutes it'll take you to fill out the questionnaire and mail it in because without that, you know, we can't we can't file a lawsuit saying that we've had millions of dollars and, and overcharges to people if only a handful of people fill out the form and say they had outages. I, I'm going to say within the next two weeks, uh, we will probably mail it with a utility bill. So folks should watch that. So that'll save us the postage if we send it with our utility bills that all of our, all of our customers should get those. The Pikeville City Commission took no official action at Tuesday's meeting. In a regular meeting of the Pike County Fiscal Court, the county's commissioners approved hiring an attorney to provide legal services relative to the Suddenlink situation.